Hi, so I want to demonstrate here how to create a point-to-site VPN to an Azure virtual network. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a VPN network or create a virtual network. So what I'm going to do here is just uh, type in virtual network. So I'm creating this within my resource group here. And so I'm just going to choose the virtual network. Click create. So in this demo, it's going to be step by step. And the steps I'm going to take is create the virtual network, create the virtual network gateway, create a VM. And then I am going to create a root certificate for the VPN client. And once I create the VPN client, I am going to log into my VPN via the local IP address. And so the first step here is to create just a virtual network. And the address space I am going to use is 10, 10, 0, 0. And I want 2 to the 16 nodes. So that is 64K nodes and the subnet I'm going to use for my VMs is, is just going to be default and I want this in the address range with 256 nodes and that looks good so this is the subnet where, I, where I'm going to create my VMs whereas this is the entire address space of my virtual network so I'm going to click create here and wait for the virtual network to get created. Okay, so that took about a minute to create. I'm going to go back here where my resources are and I am going to click refresh just to make sure the virtual networks created. So the virtual networks created here which is great. Now I am going to create the virtual network gateway. And I'm going to click create here. And I'm simply going to name it gateway vnet for the virtual network that this is going to be the gateway for. And I'm going to keep this VPN and route based. I'm going to click basic here just because it's cheaper. And it meets my traffic needs. And so you'll notice that the my VNet didn't show up yet. So I'm just going to pause and wait for it to show up as a choice here. Now actually there's a very good reason why my VNet01 is not showing up here is because I forgot to create the gateway subnet. So let me go ahead and do that here. I'm going to go back and I'm going to discard these changes. So the VNet01 that I've created I'm going to go into that virtual network and create my gateway subnet. And once I create my gateway subnet, I'll be able to attach it to the gateway. So if I go into subnet here, you'll notice there's a button up here called gateway subnet. And the address that I'll give it is actually 10.10.1. And I'm going to click OK. And that gateway subnet is going to be created. Now notice, notice there was no choice of the name. I can only have one gateway subnet. So this is going to be the gateway to my other subnets that I have within this virtual network. And now that I've done that, I should be able to add my gateway 
So I'm going to type in virtual network gateway. Choose the gateway. Click create here. And type in the name. So the convention I'm going to use is gateway vnet1, which indicates it's the gateway for my virtual network 01. I'm going to click basic here. And now my vnet1 is going to show up, and thank goodness it has. I'm going to choose that as the virtual network I want to associate with this gateway. And it's also going to create a public IP for which the VPN is going to go through. And luckily, when I create this, it actually works going through the corporate firewall because it's simply SSTP VPN. So the protocol it uses is SSTP here for the VPN. And you'll notice it says here, to create a virtual gateway, it takes as long as 45 minutes. So I'm going to click create here and I'm going to pause the video and wait for this to be created. So I'm going to click OK here, forgot to click OK. And now I can click create. So that piece is going to take 45 minutes to create. And so while that's occurring, I am going to create a VM. So I'm going to type in Windows Server here. So I'm going to create a VM in the first subnet make sure it's in resource manager so notice all of these resources I've created as a resource manager instead of in the classic so make sure you do that and I'm gonna call this wordless that's my server. And make sure I have these in the proper locations. So I'm doing this, I'm creating a VM within my subnet that I'm going to be able to VPN into while the gateway is being created because that does take up to 40, it usually takes about 15 minutes. So while this is occurring, I am just going to choose a basic configuration. So feel free to jump ahead in this video while you're... So what I'm going to do here is choose the basic. And next I'm going to be choosing the virtual network that I'll be placing this VM into. And the VPN that I'm using, that I'm gonna 
be creating against these, this virtual network. need a public IP here. And the firewall rules, I'll be using one that I've already set up. So I'm going to go ahead and let that create. So notice that this VM I am creating in my 10.10.10 subnet, which is why I named it that way. For demo purposes, it's a lot easier to remember. Now keep in mind that these are reserved addresses. So the 10.0.0.0 is a reserved address for these IANA standards. So my VM here is going to be created. I'm going to pause the video here for a while and wait until the resources are being completed. So I'm back into my resource group here and I'm going to click on the gateway to see the status of my gateway. And you notice it's still updating. And if I look at the notifications, both of those, both the VM and the gateway is still being deployed. So I'm going to pause here and wait until those are completed. So while those resources are being deployed, let me show you the next steps. So I have to create a root certificate for the VPN. So what I'm going to do here is go to the Windows Development Kit, Download. And you're going to have to download this if you don't already have the Windows Development Kit. And Now I am creating the root certificate for my VPN and I'm going to have these resources or the certificate ready for your download if you don't want to create it by hand here. So you could download it from my description area. So I'm going to go into PowerShell here. I've already have this installed. And it is located in my program files x86 Windows Kit 10 bin x86 folder. So if I do a dir, I am going to use the make cert. So you see there's the make cert.exe here. And I'm gonna go into DOS to do that. So I'm gonna type CMD. And what I'm gonna do here is add this to the path. So I'm gonna set my path variable. Notice I'm in the command shell after I typed in CMD. I'm gonna set the path. Now I'm gonna go into a temp directory. And I'm gonna create my certificates. So the command I'm using is make cert. And this is going to be the VPN root certificate. And that was successful. So I'm going to show you that certificate. If I go into Explorer, you notice that certificate's been created. And you might want to install the certificate, but I'm pretty sure it's installed based on that command. So in order to find that out, I am going to go into Cert Manager here. So I'm just typing in Cert Manager here. And you'll notice in Personal, if I go into Certificates 
then I scroll through here I'm going to scroll through here. I'm going to sort by expiration date and it should go all the way to the top. So you'll see it, it was installed and this is the Azure VPN root certificate. Now what I have to do is I actually have to export this. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to say all task and I'm going to export and I got to export it into a text readable format because that's what Azure accepts. So I'm going to choose don't export the private key and I'm going to choose base 64 here and I'm going to type in my location and I'm going to type in this whole thing except that it's going to be the base 64 and I'm going to export the base 64 version of that certificate and I'm going to right click and open it up in WordPad or TextPad and that's how the certificate looks that's how the root certificate looks now I have to get this all in one line and you'll see why so I'm gonna just uh, get rid of the new the uh, new lines here and put this all in one line so that I could cut and paste it. So you notice now it's all in one line. And I'll leave that here for now. Let me check on the status of the gateway deployment. So one of these succeeded it's still going on so the second thing I have to do is create the client certificate off of the root certificate so what I'm gonna do here is go back to my certificate so my certificates are here and keep in mind this is the root certificate so I'm gonna create the client certificate so once I have all this set up, I am going to have to download the VPN client that's created specifically based on this root certificate. And I have to distribute that with the client certificate in order for, say, my coworker or my friend or anybody I'm working with to use the VPN client and the certificate to, to VPN into the virtual network. And I'm going to demonstrate all of that. Um, so let me do that now. I'm, I'm going to go back to my DOS prompt, PowerShell. And I am going to put in this command that creates the client certificate off of the root certificate. And you'll notice that the client certificate has been created. I'm going to go back again into the cert manager and I'm going to right click on certificates and I'm going to refresh. And when I refresh, you notice there is the client certificate now. And that's the root certificate and I should sort this. So, so you can get a better look here. So you see here, that's the client certificate and that's the root certificate. And I'm going to export this because I might have to distribute this to my fellow friends or coworkers who also want a VPN in. And I am going to say export private key. And I'm just going to select the default and the file format is going to be a PFX file 
and I am gonna just choose password password now I'm gonna have both of these certificates um, in the description area so if you don't want to generate these certificates in the way that I've just done here then you can use the certificates I've already created without having to create it yourself and the password here is just password so if you use my certificates just remember that the password is just password lowercase all lowercase and I am going to generate the file and I am going to call it Azure VPN client cert dot pfx so once I get the VPN client I will have to distribute that with this pfx file and uh, keep that in mind uh, later on when that step when I when I get to that step so it looks like the gateway is still deploying in the background here so I'm just gonna pause the video and wait for that deployment to finish so while the gateway is being deployed in the background let me create a text file with the key in it here with the public key all in one line so this is going to be relatively easy for you to just cut and paste this entire line here when the time comes So you, you will get all of these artifacts and I'll have a downloadable zip file in my description area for you to download all of these certificates in case you don't, you don't want to generate it yourself or you don't want to install the Windows 10 uh, SDK software development kit then you could simply use these and get it working So let me double check this, make sure what the status of this is. So this is still deploying. Okay, I'm gonna pause here, come back later. So it looks like the gateway has deployed. So I'm gonna go into the gateway settings so this is the virtual network gateway settings that I'm going into and I'm gonna click on point to site configuration and I am gonna configure the address pool as this now keep in mind this uh, 17220 is a reserved space and you might want to check with your corporate your, your IT staff to make sure this is open but typically um, you could choose anything from 172.16 to uh, 172.31 I believe 31 or 33 I can't quite remember I, I just chose 2020 just uh, because it's easy for me to remember and it works in my network but likely it'll also work in yours too. And I'm gonna type in Azure VPN and this is where you need the public certificate. So the cert that I squished down to one line, so keep in mind, um, I squished it down to one line, I'm just gonna copy and paste it. And this is used to generate the VPN 
So I'm going to tab off and I'm going to click save here. So the gateway did take a good 45 minutes. So you'll notice here I started at around 3.30 and it finished at 4.07. So the gateway did take about 45 minutes to actually complete. And now it's updating here. And after it's done updating, this button here will be activated, the download VPN button. And you'll notice here that the VPN button is now activated and I'm gonna click here to download the VPN client and notice there's a 64-bit version and an x86 version so it's generating the VPN client now based on my root certificate and I just wanna reiterate here where the root certificate comes from so the root certificate is the one where I created using this command. So I'll, I'll have all of these instructions here of which will automatically work if, if you follow exactly the same settings that I've done. But you can change it and have it particular to your situation as far as the address spaces and, and all of that. But I'll have this in the zip file in the description area for download. So keep in mind where this certificate comes from. I generated the root certificate. I've generated the root certificate and then I went into cert manager and I exported it as base64 and when I export it as base64 let me open it. it it's like this and I squished it down into one line by getting rid of the new lines at the end and I copy and pasted that into the settings area and now the VPN is active for me to download so I'm going to click download here and I'm going to save and what ends up happening and now now I have the downloads and it is VPN 2 because I've done it a couple of times so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do here is normally when you're gonna have to distribute this PFX file that you exported to anyone that wants to install the client. And so when they get this PFX file, they'll have to right click on it or actually just double click on it and import and install the, and install the certificate and if you download from me, the password is simply password. And keep these settings and it's going to be finished and it's imported successfully. And now I just have to install the VPN client. And you'll notice uh, quickly it's been installed. And what I can do now is check my network connection at the bottom here and you'll notice there is a VPN. I'm simply going to click connect. Click continue. And I'm going to choose my cert. So I'm going to choose the client cert that I imported. And you'll notice now I am connected. If I look here, I am connected. And if I go into PowerShell and I type in ipconfig slash all, you'll notice here I have an IP address of 172.20.20.1. And where that comes from is this at address pool here from the VPN gateway and if I go to the virtual machine let me click on this virtual machine that I created in that subnet you 
will notice that the IP address is 10.10.10.4. So I'm gonna click on my remote desktop client and that's the IP address. I am gonna click connect. And you'll notice now I am RDPing into the private IP address. Prompts me for my password for the v VM. And there you go. That is it. That is how you set up a VPN point to site. And I hope this helps. Um, I will have those artifacts zipped up and downloadable in the description area. So if you don't want to, once again, if you don't want to create your own certificate, you could use my certificates. Um, you know, there, there's no real harm in doing so for uh, practical purposes. I, I mean, um, you know, that you still need a specific configuration to connect to that, um, to that virtual, to, to that virtual network. So. Uh, but that's really it. That's all I wanted to show, and I hope this helps, and thank you for watching.